On February the 9th, we remember St. Miguel Febris Cordero. Let us reflect a little on his life. St. Miguel was born in November 1854 as Francisco Luis Febris Cordero in a small village high up in the Andes Mountains of Ecuador. His father was a professor who was deeply involved in the politics of the newly independent Ecuador. Francisco was born crippled, but at age five he was cured of his deformity miraculously through a vision of the Virgin Mary. Francisco attended a Christian Brothers High School and was a bright and studious pupil. As soon as he entered, he said, he felt a great longing to also become a Christian brother, also known as the La Salle Brothers. Since the La Salle Brothers were a relatively new order, his family objected. They wanted him to join a more prestigious, more established religious order. His family enrolled him in the diocesan seminary, but Francisco fell quite ill and had to leave the seminary before completing his first year. As his health was deteriorating, his family allowed him to return to school with the Christian brothers. Reluctantly, his father finally gave Francisco permission to join the order as a brother. Francisco's relationship with his father was tense for most of his years as a brother in the La Salle Institute, but the two men were eventually reconciled before his father's death in 1882. At the age of 14, Francisco joined the order on March 24, 1868. He took the name Brother Miguel. After his novitiate year, although he was only 15, Brother Miguel was sent to teach in Quito, in Ecuador's capital. He would teach for nearly 40 years. He became an internationally recognized scholar of the Spanish language, publishing his first book before he was 20. As novice master, Miguel cared for the young men who joined the order in the tumultuous political environment of Ecuador's shifting regimes. His talents, both in the formation of the younger brothers and in academic work, caught the attention of the Institute's leaders in Rome. They sent Miguel to various houses around Europe. Miguel was homesick for Ecuador and his life there. In the summer of 1909, Miguel was in Barcelona during a week of upheaval known as La Semana Tragica, the Tragic Week. During this week of protests and strikes, churches were burned throughout the city. Although the House of the Brothers survived, a miracle many credit to the statue of the Blessed Virgin that Brother Miguel left in the window, and the brothers returned safely to the city, the incident took a great toll on Brother Miguel's health. In the winter of 1910, his health began to fail, and on February 9, 1910, Brother Miguel passed away. When news reached the Catholics in Ecuador, they mourned the loss of their beloved hero. He was buried in Barcelona, but in 1937, his remains were returned to his native country to great rejoicing. Brother Miguel was canonized by Pope John Paul II in 1984. His great-grandnephew, the President of Ecuador, Leon Febris Cordero, was present at his canonization. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us all together pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in Saint Miguel Febris Cordero, you gave your church a distinguished educator of youth. Grant that by imitating his exemplary dedication, we learn to become, welcome young people with kindness and thereby guide them more surely to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.